Hey guys, Fox Raffian 2515 back with some more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Let's see, in the last episode, we're already in, like, this is the third part of Terra's story, and we're already in some deep trouble, uh, considering Maleficent made us steal Aurora's heart. Um, anyways, so we've got a boss to take on in a minute here, but first, here's the second sticker. We have a cast of sleep. Oh, irony. And we get an attack recipe, which I... S I never looked up what the recipes do, actually. Um, oh well. Okay, actually, let me... I attacked a Moogle, I feel bad. <laughs> Go ahead and clear that out really quick. Can we buy potions? Oh my gosh, we can buy potions. Yes. I'm poor now, but I needed the potions. <laughs> okay, anyways. We are 40 experience points away from another level up, and we don't have Aqua leveled up yet either. So, we're gonna, like, I'm gonna try to get to level 3 and get Aqua's D-Link up. So we don't have a repeat of Ven's first boss, because that was terrible. But, um, let's see how this goes, and if not, I might go into a really, really small little training session sort of thing. Uh, Aqua. Oh! Yes! Awesome! No! Yes! Okay. Well, that was quick. Now we've got Aqua with Auto Life, which will help immensely. Um, so I don't waste my meter. Let me go ahead and revert. I, as Ven, I did Aqua's D-Link also, so you should remember what her uh, better finisher is, Magic Volley. Pretty much, we just shoot orbs all over the place. It takes forever, though, so... For video purposes, it's probably not a very good finisher. Okay. Don't beat me up. Let's see, 20 to a level up, 13. So we may be able to get there. And I'm hitting the wall. Stun Edge leveled up! Yeah, we're getting the level up. And Aqua's all the way up there, so that will help. Um, if that's the case, then I think we'd be actually okay to do the boss, and... Even if we're not this time, I won't show every single attempt if I fail that many times, which I doubt it. Uh, his first boss is kind of tricky, but it's not as hard. Oh, level 3 gets you a def uh, defense boost, which we're obviously going to want. So, what was I saying about a defense boost? <sighs> Somebody in this room needs to pay more attention. And it's not one of you guys, it's me. <sighs> Hopefully I still get Aqua's level up soon. Did I see it? No. Dang it, that is... Uh, well, this is critical mode. They don't call it that for nothing. <sighs> there we go. Aqua's D-Link is up again. So we don't have to do that part over. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and defeat these guys, and then I guess I'll go back and save so I don't have to do that again. 
But, um, let's see. I don't know if that does anything. Anyway, since I'm sitting here fighting stuff, I didn't want to do magic volley. Okay. Oh well. It, it's easier to do that than going in there and like being all close to everything and possibly getting hit. But we're gonna revert now. Next level, four experience points. That's that's lovely. Anyways. Man, five minutes into the video about, and this is already going great. <laughs> anyway, I guess while I'm getting back out to the main room, I can kind of tell you guys about what I've been doing during, like, during this huge long break of me not playing Birth by Sleep. Um, I remember during Ven's story in Olympus Coliseum, I'd mentioned that I was playing uh, Crisis Core and I hadn't beat it yet. And I finally did. Let's see. That's such a good game, oh my gosh. If you haven't played... Like, if you're a hardcore gamer, or just a casual gamer, whatever, if you haven't played Crisis Core, it's really good. But, uh, those of you that know the ending, I almost cried. It takes a lot to make me do that, because I'm definitely not a girly girl by any means. But, I almost cried at the end. My brother was sitting right next to me, watching, and, yeah, he can vouch for me. Like, my voice was all shaky and everything, like... I'm serious, I was that close to crying. But it was still amazing. Eventually, I think I'm gonna go back and do stuff on a new file plus. Since I have that saved somewhere. Anyways, and then... Also, not too long ago... I played and beat Kingdom Hearts 3D. And... All I know is, if they don't make Kingdom Hearts 3 next, then I don't know what other side story they're going to put in there, because that seems pretty set up for Final... Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Final Fantasy 3. Okay, I don't even know what one that is, but... Apparently I'm trying to say that. Okay, anyways. So, other than that, I've been playing other games that... Let's see. Like, I... Uh, not too, too long ago, you know, Black and White 2 for Pokemon came out. I played that, obviously. Well, not obviously. You guys don't know I'm a Pokemon person. But now you do. And, um, other than that, you guys probably wouldn't know or care too much about the other games that I've been playing. Besides, most of what I've been doing has been school-related anyway, so... Not too interesting. But I figured I'd let you guys know that I did beat um, King Hearts 3D. I believe I like I beat Coded also, but I don't know if I did that before or after recording this stuff. So um, okay, we're done. Anyway, so pretty much I've played and beaten every Kingdom Hearts game so far, including both versions of. Uh, Chain of Memories, but that doesn't really count as two separate games. Anyways, though, it's, um, actually, while I can still heal, let me do that so I'm at full life. And, okay, wish me luck, guys. Okay, I believe this is called the Wheelmaster, because, you know, it's supposed to be like a, um, like the spindle thingamajig from Snow, Snow White, what? Um, Sleeping Beauty, hello, I don't know my Disney movies. Oh, that was bad. And I forgot to set up my emergency panic button. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. 
I forgot about this, I don't even know what that does, but... If he's shooting me with something, it's bad news. So... I'm not gonna use Aqua quite yet. Commands, potions... You probably hear me... What the...? He seemed to be acting a little strange to me, but maybe it's just because I haven't played this in a long time? Uh... Okay, well, we'll try this again. You know part of why I just realized I'm having trouble with this? I'm getting the controls mixed up. There, this is going a lot better considering I actually have or wait a second. He's got two sections if if I believe if I remember correctly. Okay, uh and fireballs. I was about to put up the Aqua D-Link, too, so, um... Let's try this again, and, uh... Yeah. I really hope... No! Oh! Auto life! That was such a waste of an auto life. I am so sorry you guys had to see that. Uh, no matter what, I'm keeping that attempt in because that was actually probably really funny to you guys, not to me right now, but... I guess I'm gonna try this one more time and if I don't beat it then I should probably go level up like a smart person. I think I've only got one potion left, too, so, um, that's no good. Anyway, critical impact. Took out quite a nice chunk, not as much as I was hoping for, though. Uh, you know what? I'm... I'm just gonna go level up. I guess I'll leave the camera rolling for now, in case something else happens, and, uh, it put me back at level two. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna get to level four, and then I guess I'm gonna go back and try that again. At least I'm back already to level three, so... Yeah, hopefully this is a good indication of how, like, I feel like in some points I made Ven's story look way too easy. And sure, it's the easier of the ones, but this is really where you start feeling, oh, hey, I'm playing on critical mode, this is supposed to be hard. And it is. And all this training, even before the first boss, uh... Get used to it, because Aqua is going to be even worse than this. And, um... Yeah, how is Aqua worse than this? Aqua starts out... Like, she's a really awesome character, but she starts out with terrible defense. So, like, she gets... So, like, someone looks at her funny and she dies, pretty much. Um, so, whenever I do start Aqua's story, it's gonna feel like I'm gonna have to get to level- I'm, like, literally going to have to get to le level 10 before I can do, like, anything, so that's gonna be interesting to put together when I get there. For now, though, let's just focus on Terra, and I'm going to- Let's see, since I don't know what attempts I'm keeping in and what ones I'm not, I guess I'll just record continuously and 
Like, I can do videos longer than 15 minutes now, so it should be fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, I leveled up a little bit. I'm level 4 now. So, let's go try this again. Hopefully it's not as much of a fail. And, lo and behold, I've got my shortcut, so I have my emergency panic button this time. Let's see if that works out better. I wish they'd let you use more than five potions, but what can you do? Critical impact charged up. Emergency panic button awesomeness. Although I, it probably loses some of the awesomeness because I called it that. Alright. And it's down for right now. Now might actually be a good time to uh, use Aqua's D-Link since it's halfway down now. Not even halfway, but y I hope you guys know what I mean. It's down a lot, so. And I ran right into that. Okay, Magic Volley. This should help a lot. Alright, we got it! <laughs> really goes to show how much leveling up really helps. I went from level 3 to level 4 and I somehow did it. Either that or I was smarter this time. Whatever happened, it's over now. And loading. I learned to stand up against the darkness. Why would Master Xehanort imprison the light? The purest hearts of light. Do they hold the answer? Seven pure hearts, each completely void of darkness. Such a search may take some time. Right, she is on that. Ten years worth. Anyway, we get fairy stars that I believe is a terrible one for Terra. But I'll double check. And yeah, we finished our first world, guys. Yay. Alrighty, and two new worlds are open for us. And I know which one I'm going to next, and I'm probably going to instantly regret deciding to do that one first, but combat level 2 versus combat level 3, which one do you think I'm going to do? Anyways, though, this episode's been going on qu for quite a bit. I know I'm going to do some editing with the boss attempts and stuff like that. Um... Like, I, I'll leave the first one in for sure because I actually explained what the enemy was. Like, you guys are gonna, like, you guys saw my actual winning attempt. I kind of forgot that the battle started and I was concentrating so I wasn't talking. Um, anyway, and then there's definitely going to be one more attempt in there and I don't know why I'm talking about this because you guys are gonna see it. Anyways, though. I will not make you sit through every single tiny little thing like I did with Ven's thing. Like I said, I should have edited that more. Anyways, though, 
In the next episode, we're going to go into the Castle of Dreams, and there's going to be a lot more editing on this next one. I can just see it. Anyways, though, we will press on as Terra, and hopefully, hopefully our journey go starts turning in a better direction. I mean, we're already off to a pretty bad start. Anyways, though, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Fox Seraphian 2515 signing out. Bye, guys, and have a good day.